I grew up an arrogant, self-righteous atheist in Hollywood. I didn't go to church. I did not believe in the existence of God. I denied it until I was about 17 years old. Someone took me to church, which was right in the middle of the success of Growing Pain. So it was right at the height of all the popularity, of everything being given to me and people basically treating you as though you are God. And I went home with so many questions that I couldn't answer. I wondered, how did the universe get started? What happens when you die? Is there an afterlife? Is there, is there anything that really matters in the world besides survival of the fittest? It was a real challenge to my ego to consider the claim of Christ that He alone is good, that He alone is God, and that I am a sinner in desperate need of a Savior. And it was really just coming to grips with the fact that I was part of the ultimate statistic. 10 out of 10 people die. I work with kids who have cancer and die at six years old, eight years old, and I'm 18 now at this point. And so I found myself in the sports car that I owned at 17 years old on the side of a road, thinking about the fact that I would die one day. I, I didn't want to have to answer for that. Something had shifted in terms of the attitude of my heart. It went from pride and me first and I'm the celebrity to humility, understanding that the God of the universe could snuff out my life any moment and I was not the celebrity in that relationship. I finally just said, you know what? I want to know the truth. Whatever it costs me, I want to know the truth. God, speak to me. And he did. He did through the gospel. He did through his word. He did through friends. He did through church. And he did through transforming me from the inside out. Find more at moments.org.